um, the feature film that I have been developing over the last few years attracted some interest from producers who um, had financiers that may have been willing to put some money on the table. So um, when it comes to the ultimate goal of seeing your production made, one of the things that is just part of the formula is that you know he or she who pays the money, <laughs> their voice matters. I had a screenwriting teacher who um, explained to me that when writers work with studios, for example, studio executives, who are the people financing projects, will um, often give you notes based on what their needs are for the project. And you have to factor in those notes because they are the um, people who are financing the project. That said, there's a way to make sure that you are meeting the needs of the stakeholders who are interested in financing your project while also staying true to what you have to say as a writer. And so um, oftentimes, I'll give you a specific example. Oftentimes you'll get notes, like a note that I got on my um, project, The Caddy Club, is that um, if we're making this project for family audiences, we may not want to have guns in it. So just to give you a little bit of context, The Caddy Club is about four young uh, troublemakers who get in, in trouble with a police officer because one of, um, one of the little group of friends is gang affiliated and um, his cousin asks him to hold a weapon. And so holding this weapon ends up landing him and his um, three friends in trouble with the police officer. And that kicks off a whole adventure that eventually takes them into this magical world where they get powers um, and become crime fighting superheroes. But before we get to any of that, there's this incident in the movie where um, we have a weapon. And so in my original um, treatment for the film, the weapon that is was found um, by the police officer is a gun. Some of the notes that I was getting from the people who wanted to help produce the film was that maybe it shouldn't be a gun, maybe it should be a knife. A gun is a little bit too extreme for um, family audiences. Now, um, it's a note that I still haven't completely gotten the solution for. I did make the changes um, and wrote a version of the script where we had knives instead of guns. But to be completely honest with you, um, I may switch and go back to um, guns because um, the producers who recommended that the changes be made, they haven't financed the film yet, which means that there's still an opportunity to get financing from other people. And based on different feedback that I've been getting, there's some who believe that, especially in the times that we're living in, now is a great time to be honest about the fact that Black young people are often exposed to a level of violence that may be uncomfortable for families who come from different backgrounds. So yes, in, in typical family circumstances, um, a gun may be something that is like, whoa, like we can't see that in a family film. But for a lot of young black people around the world who happen to be in circumstances where they are economically disenfranchised and around a level of violence that is really obscene on a daily basis, it's like, of course it's a gun because why wouldn't it, why would it be anything else, right? Mm -hmm. So um, those are some of the factors that come into play to make a simple decision like that, a, a simple story moment. What type of weapon is it? You have to factor in the financing aspect, who's paying for the project, but you also have to factor in what's the goal of the project in terms of the impact that you want to leave on audiences. And is it worth it to push the bar if you are trying to make the right um, sort of impact, right? And mm -hmm. so with all that has been happening in the world, because again, nothing happens in a bubble. We're writing a movie, but we live in a, in a real world. Right. And so audiences are evolving rapidly, right? And audiences may be ready for a story that, that has 12 year olds um, having to make decisions around holding guns. 